According to French newspaper L'Equipe, Chelsea have revived their interest in Elie Wahi, the 21-year-old striker whose contract at Stade Bolaert de Lelis expires in June 2028, made 27 appearances for RC Lens in league one last season, scoring nine goals and providing three assists. Playing a key role in Frank Heise's team, Wahi helped Les Sang a finish in seventh position. L'Equipe state that the France under-23 international first caught the West London club's attention during his breakthrough season for Montpellier last year. In fact, during the 2022-23 season, Wahi etched his name into the history books, becoming the second teenager in 40 years to score 20 goals in the French top flight. The first was Mbappé, and many compared him to the French star. The Chelsea target also became the youngest player to score 10 goals in the competition alongside Real Madrid striker and Ousmane Dembele, surpassing the likes of Thierry Henry and Karim Benzema. According to L'Equipe, the Blues have inquired about the possibility of recruiting Wahi. The report highlights that Chelsea are keen to know the youngster's price before making a bid. The CIS Football Observatory currently values him at £39.6 million. Argentinian minister fired for suing Lionel Messi amid racism issues. Argentina's deputy sports minister, Julio Garo, has been fired after suggesting that Lionel Messi apologize publicly for his squad singing a racist and homophobic song aimed at France. The incident occurred as Argentina's players were celebrating on the team bus after winning the 2024 Copa America. Of course, the incident attracted a lot of criticism, with Chelsea's Wesley Fofana slamming teammate Enzo Fernandez saying, Football in 2024, unacceptable racism under control. After the midfielder shared footage of himself singing the offensive chant, Lionel Messi was not actually on the team bus when the incident occurred. However, Garo, the deputy sports minister, spoke on a radio station and suggested that Lionel Messi should apologize on behalf of the team. According to the Times, Argentine president Javier Millet had fired him within hours. Speaking on Urbana Play radio station, Garo, deputy sports minister, explained, I think Messi should come out and give a proper apology, as should the president of the Argentine Football Federation, Claudio Tapia. This makes Argentina look bad as a country, and it would be better if this is set as an example. Clearly unhappy with the proposal, Mile released a statement via her official social media account. The statement said, The President's office states that no government has the right to tell the Argentinian national team, the world champions and two-time Copa America champions, or the citizens of any other country, what to comment, what to think, and what to do. That's why Julio Garo stopped being Deputy Minister of Sport. Chelsea are in danger of losing the battle with Liverpool for the 23-year-old. Liverpool seems to be getting closer to Chelsea's main target in the left-back position. Wolves' Rayan 8 Nuri is still only 23 years old and looks like one of the best attacking fullbacks in the league. Caught offside sources claim that he is still a target for Chelsea and Manchester City, despite the Reds leading the competition. They say that a price tag of 45 million euros is up for grabs. If Chelsea don't move quickly, they risk losing him, which would be a shame considering he is a very established and talented option in the Premier League, despite his youth. Currently, there is still a lack of convincing concrete action to recruit Rayan Ayat Nouri, unless Chelsea suddenly gets a convincing offer for one of the existing options at left back, Mark Cucurella or Ben Chilwell. Of course, everything changes. If a big offer for Cucurella or Chilwell comes in, then there could be a scramble to hijack Liverpool's deal. Brazilian teenager Gabriel Mech has caught the attention of Chelsea scouts and could continue the growing trend in business carried out by Stamford Bridge. The Blues are ready to add more players, but indications are that some of them will go straight out on loan for next season. Mech could be a player ready to play his part in the first team after impressing during his time at Grêmio. Analyst Ben Mattinson believes that Mech may be the last Brazilian to join Chelsea. Wrote Mattinson in, It's really fun to watch, he's a really great Brazilian player. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Chelsea are in talks to sign the exciting winger. Romano said, Understand that Chelsea are really interested in the talent of Grêmio Gabriel Mech. 
He is considered one of the great players from Brazil. Chelsea have opened talks to understand the terms of the deal. Gabriel Mech is appreciated by many clubs, but Chelsea continues to try. Victor Osimhen is a player who continues to be linked with a move to Chelsea, as Enzo Maresca looks to strengthen his squad ahead of the new season, which starts in just a few weeks. Chelsea have long been linked with an interest in the Napoli striker. He has a release clause of £110 million in his contract, signed more than six months ago, and Napoli hope to receive the full amount if they allow him to leave this summer. It has been suggested that Chelsea could potentially use Romelu Lukaku as leverage to try and lower the price in a potential swap deal. However, Chelsea faces competition from Paris Saint-Germain. Fabrizio Romano reports that talks are ongoing between the club and Osimhen's camp, and the player wants to join PSG if an agreement can be reached. If Osimhen's own comments earlier this year are correct, then he may be open to a move to Stamford Bridge. Speaking on Africa Cup of Nations duty with Nigeria in January, the striker told CBS Sports, At the end of the season, I think I've made up my mind. I've known what I want to do with my career. Since I started it, I'm on my own. Made a decision, and everything went well for me. Although when I started, things didn't go according to plan. But I already have a plan. I already know what I want to do, the next step I want to take. So for now, I just want to finish the season strong, go relax somewhere with my daughter, and then finally make a decision that I have made. Tosin Adarabioyo gets an important new squad number. Tosin Adarabioyo was brought in on a free transfer right at the start of the transfer window, but the lack of a price tag does not reflect his abilities. Adarabioyo has reportedly impressed in training and is starting to show the leadership qualities the club desperately needs in the squad. When Chelsea's official website announced some changes to the shirt numbers, it became clear that the Englishman could be key in the club's thinking for next season. He was given the number four shirt, indicating that he may have been at the top of Maresca's mind when selecting his team. A pre-season tour of the United States could give an indication of what the manager is thinking, with the first friendly against Wrexham less than a week away. Three wingers Chelsea are targeting this summer. One of the big names linked with Chelsea is Atletico Bilbao star Nico Williams, who is a target this year. Liverpool, Arsenal and Barcelona, among others, are Chelsea's rivals for the 21-year-old Spaniard, who impressed at Euro 2024. Reports suggest that Chelsea want to make Williams their next big player, but will have to compete with Barcelona, who are also chasing him. In second place, Chelsea opened talks with the Leeds United star. The Blues' next target is Leeds United winger Crescencio Somerville. The Dutch winger performed brilliantly for Leeds United last year. He scored 20 goals in 46 games and recorded 9 assists for Leeds, demonstrating his quality and confirming Chelsea's view that he is a capable Premier League level player. Over the past few months, interest has been reported from Liverpool, Newcastle United, PSG and Bayern Munich for the Championship Player of the Season, but no official bid has been submitted. In third place, Chelsea alternative for Michael Olise. After the Blues lost out to Bayern Munich for Crystal Palace winger Michael Olise, they began to show interest in Brighton star Kaoru Mitoma. The 27-year-old had a fantastic season last year. He was one of the Seagulls' best players and has remained so for the last two seasons. However, concerns have been raised over his health as the winger has had several injury problems over the last few months, which could make Chelsea hesitant to sign him.